Welcome to Megger's technical support videos. Today we'll learn how to communicate with the MRCT using Ethernet. To communicate with the MRCT, select the instrument and uh, on the screen that shows up you can choose whether to communicate using Ethernet or to communicate um, via Bluetooth if the instrument that you own has that, uh, that option. If you're going to use Ethernet, the easiest way would be to use the Auto Discovery Unit, which means that the software will identify uh, the units connected on the network, uh, like I'm going to do right now. I'm selecting now Instrument Transformer Management Software, that's the software that controls the MRCT. And I'm going to click here, there's a text here that says please, sel please select the upper left icon to connect to the unit. When we do that, this window shows up that gives us the option to simulate device or use the last set set or to talk to a unit that is actually connected to my computer right now. Uh, all the units available will show up uh, here. It will tell you how long has that unit uh, been on and the serial number of the unit so you know that you're talking to the proper unit. When we click there we are now connected to the unit as uh, indicated by this uh, green color on the bottom that indicates communication. We can find the actual IP address of the unit uh, by clicking here on settings, display versions and the actual IP address of the unit will show up uh, over here. When the unit is configured to use DHCP if there is no DHCP server in the system, the unit will acquire the autoconfig IP which can be found in, the, in a label in the back of the instrument as shown right here. If we know the IP address of the unit, we can use it here. Remember, we have to use Ethernet and uh, we will deselect autodiscover unit in which case we will be allowed to type in the IP address of the unit that we are going to use. Remember ITMS instrument and we are connected to the unit. Again we can find the versions over here this would be the IP address that we are using. This concludes our video on how to communicate with the MRCT using Ethernet.